Hey everybody, it's Ben. We got a little more experimentation going on today. We've got my Mitsubishi iMeve electric car in front of me, the uh, Notorious Cow Car. And this Mitsubishi iMeve is actually connected up right now with the Chatamo port to a hybrid inverter. A hybrid inverter is one that's designed for uh, either on-grid or off-grid. It's your choice, it's automatic. And I have that connected to the car using this 3D printed Chainamo connection. The power goes out from this actually into the solar input on this inverter. And the other thing I'm doing right now is I am charging our Chevy Volt electric car out there, plug-in hybrid. And that typically charges at about uh, 3,300 watts or so. Plus uh, in the garage here, I've got uh, about 400, 500 watts of lights and other things uh, taking up energy. But if we look right here, active power being produced by the inverter is only about 2,500 watts. That's less than what we know that car over there takes to charge. Well, what's interesting is I've got the output of the inverter running out on a cable here. That's going to a generator extension cord. And if we follow the cord, we come on over here to my garage breaker panel right here to a generator input. Uh, we've got a 30 amp breaker here, and that's connected with an interlock between the generator input and the main so that only one can be on at any time. They can actually both be off, but they cannot both be on. They're connected with this uh, 3D printed interlock here. And up here, we've got a 30 amp uh, breaker, which is in the on position for my grid tie solar. And normally grid tie solar does not work, period, when you are off grid. But in this case, the grid is actually the power from the inverter. So if we look over here, uh, we are making some power with the solar. Now, right now it's less than 1300 watts. And the reason why is it's raining outside. We're just not making a lot of power uh, through all those clouds. But if we take that 1300 watts and add it up to, we got about 25. So we're around 3800 watts of power um, that we are uh, consuming, which is being drawn from my Mitsubishi iMeve electric car right here. Now, a couple other things is, as part of this whole experiment, I still have to do a little bit more work with the um, uh, the control signals for activating the Chetamo to turn on power at the car. And I did make one change. I changed the, uh, the switch that I've got up on the dashboard. I instead went to a little switch right down here. And this is the little cheat that it's just an on-off switch that uh, it basically takes the place of um, a signal that needs to be created with uh, CAN bus information from a Chatamo charging station. So this is very easy on Mitsubishi iMeve. Now on something like a Nissan Leaf, something like that, I don't know exactly how one would go about doing the same hack, but on the iMeve, really, really easy. It's just a certain connection and uh, uh, just adding a switch. Now, the other thing that I tried was I went, aha, if the, and part of, um, why I just did that switch there is that I do not need the car to be on uh, to create that signal, whereas uh, earlier with the switch on the dashboard, the car did have to be on. And one reason why I wanted to do that is I thought if the car is off, maybe I can charge it with power from the wall, which is actually coming from the inverter and the car, and no, it's not a perpetual motion machine because I'm getting that extra energy from the solar over there. And if I plug this in, I actually hear a couple little clicks. Uh, the car is uh, trying to decide whether or not it wants to charge up. And again, if we, we check our power output over here, uh, that has not changed any. Uh, what I found is that you can plug the car in, but it's just not gonna go into the charge mode. It doesn't like it. It doesn't freak out or anything, doesn't power. Uh, anything else off, it just plain doesn't charge. So unfortunately, I cannot make the car charge itself during a blackout from the power from the solar panels, uh, but I can run my entire garage and eventually my entire house off of a electric car and a hybrid solar inverter.